Hello there guys and welcome, uh, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be breaking down the Crossbones buff and I like his buff, his buff kind of makes me reminisce a bit of Falcon's buff where effectively he's going to be 99% same champion just better so I do genuinely think that Crossbones would in fact uh, actually be able to play a role in this game especially considering that he's one of those champions that doesn't uh, crit at all and that alone kind of like savored and saved at least a very little bit of space in this game he was overshadowed by guilty in 2099 but still he was a decent alternative option but now he actually could be significantly better option than guilty in 2099 for a lot of fights now i will not read any flavor text over there uh the things that do we do need to know is that his prestige is increased it's nothing crazy uh but it's a okay i believe and uh, then his base abilities kind of still have remained the same the character has not changed drastically now we do have a new mechanic for crossbones called contempt where he gains slight bonuses fighting hero champions and that is a great ability to have because again uh majority of the champions in this game are in fact heroes and uh that will make this uh buff to his abilities uh, work ever so slightly more often and uh, here we go uh, now he has a very high damage potential and I can definitely see a very good high damage potential in him right now and he can work as a very good defensive ability suppressor and uh, genuinely I like this buff I'm very very intrigued in how he's going to work out and uh, since I do not have a six star I might possibly consider ranking up my five star Right, he will obviously be buff reliant, so that will be one of his weakness, but then again, most of champions' weaknesses is not being able to get buffed. Right, anyways, uh, so his abilities, personal fury buffs, unless otherwise stated, crossbones fury buffs grant 1000 attack for 9 seconds, these fury buffs get increased potency equal to 20% of crossbones critical damage multiplier. Now this has pretty much remained the same, the Fury buffs last for like half a second longer I believe, or just about the same amount, but we can pause them and refresh them now in several ways, so we can easily maintain higher count of them, so I do like that. Critical hit replacement, crossbones hydraulic gauntlets prevent him from landing crits whenever he would, He instead he gains a Fury, same as it was while fighting hero champions, crossbones abilities gain special contempt bonuses, now that's all new. All attacks reduce the opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 20% for each Fury buff active. Contempt, it becomes 25%. So it's not a major difference there. So he's perfectly viable against non-heroes as well. You would say you need to get 5 Furies instead of 4 to completely shut down the opponents. But it's still a nice neat additional benefit. Now Overrun has been improved. And one of the bigger things that uh, many people might miss is that in order to activate Overrun, you had to hold lock for 2 seconds. And 2 seconds is significantly harder to achieve against any sort of aggressive AI. Now, 1.2 seconds is much more feasible and much more realistic. Therefore, he's going to be easier to use, and this ability will, in fact, work better. In addition to that, Overrun, overrun now lasts 12 seconds over previous 8 seconds, so it has 50% increased duration, which is definitely also superly helpful because Overrun always seemed a bit underwhelming. While active, clean hits on the opponent ignore physical resistance and gain 50% combat power rate. And this thing, this thing is very, very huge. Because you're going to be able to get your specials quicker, especially special 3, which is kind of like the one that you want in really long fights. And also, also, physical resistance was the biggest problem with crossbones. Because uh, for those of you who do not know, the way most champions get around large physical resistances is obviously either using energy attacks therefore they ignore physical resistance or critical hits critical hits ignore a large portion of champions physical resistance however since crossbones can't crit any champion who had large amount of physical resistance basically took almost no damage from crossbones so this completely solved that problem and makes him viable for some matchups where he previously would be doing absolutely abysmal damage so this is a very very good addition to the character and perfectly fits uh, like right, uh, I don't know, <laughs> glove on a hand, I don't know. And also an activation, refresh the duration of all personal fury buffs and gain two new ones with contempt, gain an additional fury buff as well. So this again, that refresh mechanic is going to be super helpful. So you can land a combo or two, dash back, gain a bunch of fury buffs, refresh the old ones and you can keep on going. And uh, 
heavy attack, spend one fury to pause all the remaining fury boss for five seconds. If this attack intercepts the opponent or strikes them while they are recovering from a special attack, it does not cost a fury buff. And this is the key aspect to his kit in order to build up the huge damage because uh, pausing for five seconds is not like a huge duration, but considering that you can refresh everything on you by activating overrun, in theory, you should pretty much be able to build close to an indefinite amount of furies and you should be able to access a large, large damage. Now, whether that is going to be practically possible in hard fights, remains to be seen. Uh, it could be the situation that we have to go with uh, Civil Warrior. But still, even if it is just you kind of like throwing heavy attacks, I think it is easier. And uh, yeah, I do think that with some work and effort, you can get some ridiculous amount of furies on crossbones. And that does in fact look quite interesting, uh, especially from making a cool snazzy video perspective. Either way, let's move on. Special one is pretty much the same, except that uh, it is uh, vastly more potent against uh, hero champions because you used to gain a fury buff. Uh, against heroes, now you gain three fury buffs, so you immediately gain a large amount of ability accuracy reduction. So with the idea uh, here would be that activating level one uh, alone and activating your overrun will completely shut down any opponent pretty much, and that is uh, great. So you can use crossbones as also a legitimate ability accuracy reduction option much better now than you previously could. Now he's still not going to be as good for the job as Falcon is, I think, because uh, you can't access it from the very first hit of the fight. Guaranteed. But he sh still should be a decent option for that. I still don't think he's going to be like better than Falcon for most of those situations. Special 3. 100% chance to gain a Precision buff gaining 700 critical rating for 40 seconds. Now that is a long precision, but Crossbones really benefits from it because you will be just gaining more and more Furies. And if you're fighting against the Hero Champions, you gain a 70 second precision. So against Hero Champions, uh, you will have absolutely no problem to play with precision pretty much all the time active and drop some level ones and then build up to uh, your level three. I skipped over the level two because it's... Uh, unchanged and it's as boring as ever <laughs> inflict incinerate an opponent that deals uh, some damage and uh, if you have contempt ability inflict additional incinerate yeah that's nothing uh, too special too important and signature ability is uh, vastly improved previously he shrunk off debuffs at about like 25 or 30 percent rate or something now brock ramlow's brutal high ratings allows him a 90 percent chance to purify incoming debuffs each time he does so he gains a fury buff and that could be huge in a lot of matchups. Now, unfortunately, it's not a 100% chance and it decreases further the more you trigger it, but it is still a very, very, very high chance. So in a lot of matchups where you do have to deal with annoying pesky debuffs and you will be able to supercharge crossbones. Now, my personal hope is to try him out for lightning adoption or... Uh, Sorry, energy adoption, ice, uh, and incinerate and nodes like that, because in theory he should be insane for those. Like, insane, because those place a ton of debuffs on you that hardly do anything, and uh, he's gonna have a crap ton of furies. So I'm actually very excited to test about and play with him. I really, really do like what I see here. Right, and then synergies, the most notable ones here would be with uh, Red Skull or Punisher 2099, where you gain critical damage rating, because that helps crossbones with more damage as well. With Hitmonkey, Yondu, Platpool, and Nebula, uh, Mercenaries and Villains, uh, you gain 5% attack rating for 100 critical damage rating, and also uh, your Contempt is expanded to include all non-Villain champions, so basically Mercenaries. Mangog's one is uh, probably the most important one, unfortunately, because Mangog sucks, kind of, whatever. Uh, you increase the Fury buff duration by 50%, and that is a huge, huge, huge increase, better than any other synergy that we have currently available out there to increase the Fury duration on champions. So, uh, overall, I'm excited, I'm happy, I want to see how good he is, but I do have quite high hopes, and I can easily see myself taking this lad up to rank 5 as a 5-star, but I do think that now he will need his dupe and high sig, which probably makes better sense to actually rank up the five star.
either way, that is it for now. I must uh, go over the rest of the champions. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the button, and I'll catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the